Hey everybody, welcome to part two of building the Enterprise D from Eagle Moss and Hero Collector. So in this video, we're going to be checking out stages three, four, five, and six. So we got quite a few parts here. This does come with another one of these uh, magazines. And I'm just going to very quickly thumb through these because I want to spend more time on the actual build. And also, uh, I have a lot to cover in this video. But you can see all the cool instructions that come on with these. And everything's pretty straightforward here. And um, looks like we're going to be doing some framework. And I also like some of the information that they show in these magazines. It's pretty interesting. It's a cool read. Got some cool stuff going on in here. Some behind the scenes stuff, which I'm always fast. Look at that. That's where they're building the model. You can see the uh, fluorescent tubing that's in there. It's really, really neat. A lost art, unfortunately, since so many things are going to CGI now. All right, so let me show you what else comes with all this. Now, I did buy a big bulk bunch of parts, and so because of that, they do send you some freebies as you go along in this kit, and this was one of them. It's a really nice t-shirt, the Enterprise D-shirt. You can see the little graphic here. It's got the side view and the top view of it. So this is really cool. And uh, keep in mind, I did buy the premium version of this kit, so that's why these come with this. I don't know if the standard version comes with these goodies. This is another thing I really like. This is the toolbox that they're going to send you for free. And these actually open up, and it's got all the compartments in here. I had to buy one of these for my R2-D2, but um, Eagle Moss and Hero Collector actually send you these. You do get the little separating uh, side panels here. You can adjust it any way you want. So this is really cool. So I'm definitely going to be using that. And then this is really cool too. This is a binder, kind of like the kind we used to carry around in school. Um, I don't think I can fit the whole thing in here. Let me <laughs> give you a side view of it. But yeah, so this is going to be used to put all your magazines in here. It's got these little plastic pieces right here and you're going to put them down in here and up in the top and it's going to hold all the magazines and keep them organized and uh, keep them from getting all bent so that was very cool so yeah there's some great freebies that you can get along with this kit now in part one as you recall i mentioned that i bought these lifeboat hatch vinyl stickers from mike lane mods so mike lane mods is based in the uk and i'm here in the u.s but he sent them pretty quick i got them in about a week and a half so these are really cool. So uh, they're kind of pricey. I think I paid uh, close to 60 bucks for these, but they uh, really do make a difference. So these are what they look like. And he gives you a ton of these things. There's 500 of these. <laughs> so you definitely got enough to go around here. And they're all numbered. I don't know if I'm going to be able to focus in on it. See the numbers? So I've already put one, two, and three on there. And you don't have to worry about what number you're putting on which lifeboat or escape pod, uh, because on the filming models, they didn't make any sense. They just put any number on whatever, um, you know, escape pod. And some of them, I think, actually, they use the same number. So, <laughs> yeah, there's no order to these, so don't worry about it. So he does give you plenty to work with. But this is what it looks like when you're done. So right here, that's what it looks like without the stickers. And that's what it looks like with. See how much better that looks? Yeah, I mean, it makes it look a lot, lot better. Just gives it a little more detail. Um... Yeah, the, the kind of the plain looking graphic that they got on there. I mean, you can really see it makes a nice difference. So I'm definitely going to be using these all over the model. So I just uh, take a soft cloth and, you know, wipe that off to get any fingerprints off. Take an X-Acto blade, uh, you know, with the sticker on it and just carefully put it on here. The sticker will cover the entire um, graphic that you see here. So you don't have to worry about that. Just get it centered on there. And then once you get it put on there, just take a soft cloth and just kind of lightly burnish it on there to make sure you got it stuck on there all the way but yeah that looks great so yeah thank you to mike lane mods and i will put a link in the description so you can get your own if you'd like all right so these are the parts that you get for stage three it looks like we're going to be working on the main deflector which is pretty cool looking right there a little more wiring going on and electronics it looks like a main circuit board here i think we'll actually be able to test out the electronics on this so that'll be cool all right so let's get started all right, so the first thing we're going to be working on now is the battery box. That's what it looks like inside there. So we're going to take this nut, and it has to fit inside this hole. And, oh, it went right in. I was thinking that was going to be a pain. It actually went in there. All right, and then this little cover goes on top of it, and this little opening has to go on the top. So it fits like this. Okay. And then two of the little BP screws hold that in. 
All right, so that is now done. So the next step is we're going to put some batteries in. So this one here goes negative side up. And this one here goes positive side up. And this one goes positive side up. So three AAA batteries go in there. Just like that. Let me make sure I'm doing that right. Okay, good. <laughs> All right, so then this is the cover. It's got the little tabs right here. Those go in these little slots that you can see right here and here. All right, so let's push these in. It's going to be a little bit of tension on here. Then you just kind of push down on it. Definitely some tension on there. Okay, then you have the uh, this screw here, which is going to lock all those in. So let me tighten that down. All right, so that is all done now. So we can set that to the side for now. And now next we're going to be working on the uh, deflector dish support. So you get these two halves here. And they just go in. There's a pin right there. Fits right like that. Okay, and then you use a BP screw to fasten that on. So let me get that put on. All right, so that is done. So we can set that to the side once again. And now we're going to be working on this. This is a nice piece. This is the main deflector dish. Really, really cool looking piece here. And then we're also going to put this part in here. Look at this. That's another nice section. Cool middle section. So I don't think it matters which side is which here. So I think we're going to put it in here right in the center. And then it's going to be two BP screws that hold that in. So let me uh, get that put on. <laughs> okay, next. That looks pretty good, I got to say. All right, so next we're going to be bringing back the support piece here. And that is going to go back here, right in between these two little posts that are sticking up, like this. And then two BP screws are going to hold that in place. So let me get that put on. All right, the next step now, we're going to be putting some lights in. So this is the green and yellow LED. We're going to be putting the LED right in this cool little spot right here. And then once you get that in place, there's going to be a little bracket, this piece right here, that's going to go right on top. It's going to hold that in place. And then you put a BP screw in there. Same thing on this side, you're just going to do the opposite. So you got the uh, red and black wire that's going to go in here. That's going to go in here, and then another bracket and another BP screw. So let me show you what that looks like when it's all assembled. All right, so this is a cool stage now. We get to test out some of the lights. So we'll be using this nice little board right here. So the battery pack will plug into F right here, and you got to make sure you put the pins in the right way. You don't want to put them in the wrong way and screw up the pins. We put this in here. These things are really tiny. Okay, clicks right in there. And then these are the wires to the uh, main deflector. Once again, you got to make sure you put the pins in there correctly. And this is going to go into D. So let me see. All right, so this has got to go in this way. Ah, there we go. And there we have it, a lit deflector. Ooh, that looks cool. I really like the way they have the lights go through those clear plastic areas. It's really neat. All right, yeah, that's excellent. I love it. All right, so now at this point, you can also test the previous section that you built of the bridge. You can see all the lights are working. Same uh, circuit board. And now you can see how these look. Look how cool that looks. Oh my gosh. That looks absolutely awesome. Yeah, there's that uh, one side that lights and the other one doesn't. I'm still going to see if that's going to light up at the end or not. But yeah, that looks great. I absolutely love this. Look at the way those look in the front right there. Looks absolutely great. All right, now we're on to stage four. All right, so stage four consists of quite a few parts here. Looks like we're going to be doing some panels some more lighting, windows, and some more lifeboats. I'm going to definitely put the stickers on those now, and that way you don't have to worry about it when they're on. And uh, this piece here is the only metal piece, this panel here, which once again has that beautiful paint job on it. 
And then uh, these ones here are plastic. So I'm not really sure how they decide which pieces are going to be, uh, you know, plastic or metal, but you can see that it's, they're painted very nice. All right, so let's get started on this. All right, so now we're going to take this piece here and we got to cut these out. So if you don't have these already, I would recommend you get some of these things here. They're little nippers. And I think most model builders have these, but they're really good for snipping these pieces off of sprues like this. Just makes it a whole lot easier. Just got to be really careful. Don't want to accidentally cut into the part itself. And see, there you go. And then now we're going to take a whole bunch of these now and we're going to put them in the back here. So let's see, I think, uh, which way does this go? I think that's the top here. So that means that this part is going to go right here. So it's just going to fit like that. So I got to put uh, more of these in here. So let me get all that done. Okay, so these are now in place. Now the next step is windows. So we cut out all these little window pieces from the sprues, the black ones here and the uh, clear ones here. So you need 15 of each for this, just this one panel. So um, you put them in the way they, they show, but you know, you don't have to do it that way. They said you can do it whatever way you want, but um, you know, they said they did it based on uh, how the filming model looked. So I'm going to go with what they have because I really kind of want to make it look like, you know, the way it's supposed to. These things are really tiny, so you may have to use some uh, some tweezers for these. I don't know, but so far I can drop them in pretty, pretty decent here. Make sure you clip them as close as you can because you don't want the extra bit of spruce sticking out. So there's like three dark ones there and then one clear one here. All right, so let me put the rest of these in and then I will show you what it looks like when it's all done. All right, so this is what it looks like when it's all done. And you just got to be careful not to turn it over or spill them because they will go everywhere, especially those clear ones. If you drop them on the floor, good luck finding them. <laughs> now, I have seen where people have mentioned that there's light leaks that come around the, the uh, lifeboats here and some of the black lights. And I was going to do a little bit of thin black paint on there just to kind of maybe seal that in a little bit. But I don't know. I don't want to... Uh, have the black paint gloop out into the other side and maybe, you know, drip or something, or maybe, you know, get into the clear sections. I just uh, think I don't really want to mess with this too much. If there's light leaks, there light, there's light leaks. I'm just not going to really get that concerned about it. Um, so uh, this is the next piece now. It's another reflector piece. The uh, All the wires in this stage are labeled B. So yeah, they're all the same. So we're going to take the um, red and blue wire and it's going to go into this this LED is going to go right in here I love the way these fit in there by the way and then we have the yellow and black wire that goes over here all right and then this piece is going to fasten onto the part that we just did it's going to hold all those windows and lifeboats in there and it's going to go on with three BP screws so let me get that put on all right so this is now all together we can see how that looks it looks really good had a little bit of a difficulty trying to sandwich these things together. Um, so you'll notice the angle that this piece is right here. Well, this one over here is at an angle as well. So when you put this this uh, reflective cover onto this part, you have to kind of squeeze it, you know, forward as you're pushing down to get this to go in at that angle. But even then, I mean, it seems like it's kind of, I mean, it looks like it's sticking up, but I guess it's just the way it is because you can see how thick the uh, the lifeboat pieces are underneath there. Yeah, so, and then this this light here kept trying to pop out, so I just put a small dab of Gorilla Glue in there to hold it in place, and that way it doesn't fall out. But yeah, it's kind of a, an awkward uh, way that that goes together, but it seems like it's as tight as I can get it, and I don't want to overdo these, of course. All right, so this is going to be the next part, and it's another panel, and uh, once again, uh, two more lifeboat pieces here and a mix of black and clear windows, so let me get all those put in, and I'll show you what that looks like. All right, so this is now done. I got to say this is not my favorite part of the build. These windows are kind of a pain in the butt. I mean, <laughs> uh, I don't really know why they couldn't have just had a big clear sheet that just fits on here and have the black windows painted out instead of having to put these in individually. It's kind of an unnecessary uh, step or steps to do, but there they are. 
And I, we got to do this through the whole ship. So this is just, you know, uh, it's going to go through the whole thing. All right, so this is the next part. This is the reflector piece that's going to fit on top of that. So we got to put the LEDs in here. So the, um, the red and blue wires on this strand is going to go right here. And then the yellow and black are going to go here. I may have to glue these to make them stay in place. And then on the last remaining um, strand of lights, got the red and blue again. Nothing is going to go in here just yet, and we do have that extra bulb sitting there. So then we're going to flip this over and put it onto here with some BP screws. So let me get that all put on. Okay, so this is now ready to go. Everything's on here now. Okay, so now the remaining LED that's left on this strand goes into this little spot right here. So that just fits like that. All right, and then we're just going to briefly put this to the side. For the next step, which is this, now we're, we're working on this metal part. This is a nice metal piece right here. And then the, we're going to be putting the uh, transporter array, I guess is what this is. I've always seen these on the Enterprise. I didn't know what they were. So this has got double stick tape on the back here. Let's see if I can get this off. And then we're just going to stick it on. So at least there's not like screws or something to put this on here. All right, well, let me see if I can get this off and then I'll get that put on there. All right, so there's the uh, double stick tape there. So we just got to put it in this little section here. And hopefully get it in here centered. Boy, that fits right in there. I mean, look at that. That fits perfect. Yeah. All right, just press that on really good. Okay, yeah, that looks great. I like that piece a lot. All right, so the next step now is we have to put more lifeboats on here, five of these. So these are going to go on here. So let me put all these in, and then this is going to get attached to the part that we just did previously that's going to get put on here like this. So that's this piece here is going to hold the lifeboats in, and then there's going to be two DM screws to hold all that together. So let me get all that done. Okay, so both of these panels are now completely finished. That went on very nicely. It lines up very good. So now we can test the lights again. So uh, here's the battery pack again and the, the circuit board. Let me plug these in and I'll show you what the lights look like. Okay, so that is everything now. You can see the lights look really, really good. I do love it. There is a little light leakage I can see going on right here, like I mentioned, but I'm just not really going to worry about it. And this panel here looks excellent too. More light leakage around the lifeboats, but oh well. That's just the way it is, I guess. All right, yeah, this looks really good. So I think we're on to the next stage now. All right, so this is what you get in stage five as far as parts go. You get uh, the shuttle bay door here, and it looks like we're going to be building the surrounding section around the bridge here. So there's not that many parts, but the parts are all metal. These are all metal pieces with the, once again, beautiful uh, coloring. You can see all the nice painting that's on here. Looks really, really good. I really am impressed with the paint job on these. Looks excellent. Here's the other one. All right, so let's get started. And that means we're gonna have to bring back this piece, which was the piece from step one, which was the, uh, the bridge piece. So we'll start to work on that part. All right, so now here is the uh, shuttle bay door. This is a plastic piece. It looks really good though. And this is gonna go back here. Fits into this little slot right there. And then two BM screws are gonna hold that in place. Okay, so that's in place now. Looks really good. Let me show you from this side. See how nice that looks? It's a nice piece. All right, so the next part is gonna be the front part here, this big long metal section here. So this is going to go on front here, and this is going to get screwed in with some EM screws, I believe, is how that's going to go on. So I'll have to figure out how to line it up. But anyway, let me get that put on. Okay, so that is now in place. That's what it looks like from the top there. Looks very, very nice. So the next step now is to put these side curved pieces on here. So, uh, so I'm thinking this one goes on this side here. Okay, and then we'll just align these and they go on with more of the uh, BM screws, I believe. So let me get this side and then this side put on. 
and I'll show you what that looks like. All right, so that completes the whole top bridge section there. You can see how good that all goes together, and this is what it looks like from the top. Look at that. Oh, man, that looks so cool. I love that. That looks just awesome. So I guess my theory about these vents was uh, just a theory, <laughs> because if you can see here, so I thought maybe this one would come out a little bit later, and an LED would go in there, because we still have this rogue LED right here that doesn't go anywhere yet, and I figured it was going to go in here at a later date. But as you can see, this plate actually does cover it. And um, yeah, I mean, there's, it's not like you're going to be able to take it out. And I was going to take this LED out and just keep them both dark. But uh, you know what? I, I hate to waste a good light. <laughs> so I guess I'll just leave it the way it is. And we'll just have uh, this one here lit and then this one not lit. And that's just the way it is, I guess. I'm not really sure why Eagle Moss chose to do it that way. Maybe it's something they saw in one of the episodes or something. I'm not really sure. But we're going with what they have. <laughs> All right, on to stage six now. These are the parts that come with stage six. This is a nice metal frame right here. So we're going to start building the framework to the saucer section. These are support struts that, are, that go on the inside. And then some BM screws. I'm going to try to finish off the ones from the previous steps. So this piece is going to go on right here. Just like that. And then I'm going to screw them in uh, from the other side. You're going to have to flip this over and put two BM screws in there. So let me get that put on. All right, so that's what it looks like when that's in place. And now this smaller piece is going to go right in here, right behind it. And two more BM screws are going to hold that in. So let me get that done. All right, so that completes stages three, four, five, and six. And those four stages build all of this. So I already have stages 7, 8, 9, and 10, and I'm immediately going to get started working on that video. So watch for that one to pop up here in the next few days. But in the meantime, uh, this concludes part two of this video. So um, if you like this video, please give it a like. Also subscribe if you'd wish. And also uh, thank you very much for watching. I very much appreciate it. Don't forget to hit the bell so that if you want to follow this series, you'll be able to get notifications when the next one comes up. And I'll still be doing my regular videos in between as well. All right. Well, thank you again for watching. I very much appreciate it. I'll see you on the next one and have a good one.